Here's where we left off in part one. And here's what it will look like at the end of this video. We'll start by painting the hummingbird, then darken the sky, and give the flowers just a little more definition by painting behind the flower shapes created by the salt. For a beautiful light green, I'll mix cobalt, turquoise, and yellow. And for the darker green, I'll mix phthalo, turquoise, and yellow. The light green goes on the hummingbird's body. and is more watery on the left side, where we'll add shadows later. The dark green goes on the top half of the head, with black for shading wherever it looks darker in your photo. The hummingbird's throat is white with a little gray. I like to start with light colors and build them up gradually with darker layers or shadow color. The wings have some feathery detail, but keep it light and fuzzy, so you get a feeling of movement. and be very careful with the Hummer's tiny beak and eye. The eyes are very important, so you can use an ink pen for the fine detail if you have trouble doing it with a brush. Finally, that pop of red goes on the Hummer's throat. I start to suggest some of the tiny feathers and start darker.
and then I dab it with a paper towel to lighten. Oops, lifted up my red. I'll have to go back and add more. When my colors are finally dark enough, I'm ready for my opaque white to clean up and add some tiny white feathers. Now to darken up the sky behind the Hummer. I wet the paper around the flowers and bird very carefully, and then I tilt my page to run off the excess water. My sky is just thalo blue, very watery, and I scrub it on and let it spread out into the wet sky. You don't want to paint every inch of your skies. Working wet on wet and loose helps give you an atmospheric look that makes excellent skies. Now that the background is darker, my hummingbird stands out much better. Next, we'll spend just a few minutes on the flowers. In part one, we sprinkled salt on the wet wash to create small blooms that look kind of like flowers. Now I'm using those same colors to outline a few of the flower shapes. By painting behind the flower edges, it makes the salt blooms look even more like flowers. I mostly used pink and blue with some mixed into purple, but I did add a couple areas of green in with the flowers just so that the green of the hummingbird is repeated in the flowers. I'm really enjoying these loose flowers. I plan to do a whole series of these this summer when my native flowers are blooming and I can get photos. I do have a hummingbird too. Well, that's a wrap on this video. Feel free to try this at home or visit my website for more free watercolor painting tips and lessons. My new site will be up soon. Happy painting! Thank you.
Thank you.